Okay guys, so he's all done or she's all done, I don't know. I refer it's a mix, so it's more like a he. <laughs> but uh as you guys can see, uh it's pretty much the construction is done. Um the canopy I was able to open the canopy but it is not glued. Uh that way I could uh appreciate the 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 airs cockpit. Let me see if you guys could see that right there it looks it looks okay it looks decent uh, it better I mean after all the trouble that this kit gave me I want to say this kit uh, should be an easy build um, but because of the Ares cockpit it created a lot of these alignment uh, problems with it but as you guys can see it's it's done um, the next step it's going to be using the set the metallic airplanes and jet set the weathering set it's number 10 of ammo uh, of Mickey Menis and what it is is pretty much swashes I talked about them uh, uh, several times I did some experimentation with my paint mule and I think I'm gonna go with, with the blue black wash for a general wash, um, I think it looks good. Uh, they also the deep brown looks very good, especially on on those uh, uh, really old and weathered sections, like on top of the wings, as you guys could see. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, and uh, as you guys could see, it's it's. It's turned out okay, not not what I had in mind, it, it never does. Uh, you know, you start a build and, and you have something in mind of how you're going to weather it and how you're going to look. And at the end of the build, it, it might look like what you had in mind, it might not look what you had in mind, but in this case, um, it didn't, okay? I, I, I had a total different... Uh, mindset of less is more kind of thing but because of my lack of practice and lack of um, building and stuff uh, I had a bit you know I hit a few bumps here and there and, and stuff but you know pretty much it's done um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it and uh, the bottom you guys can see the bottom here turned out okay uh, little problems here with the landing gear the landing gear is not really the strongest I will highly recommend you put him some kind of uh, rod in there just to give it a little more support um, I hear a lot of Edward kids uh, have that problem but um, overall it's a decent kit I will highly recommend it for for all kinds of uh, level you know you don't need to be an expert to build this kit believe me I know <laughs> and uh, yeah I was, I was I'm very pleased with the result I'm gonna be taking a closer look uh, with the pictures and stuff but right now I'm gonna be weathering with washes maybe some oils here and there so that's what I'm going to be doing guys and I'll see you guys for the final reveal in my next section. Alright, later. Alright, so I got to show you guys everything, okay? And I got to admit I'm a little clumsy sometimes and, and, and I'm kind of rushing this just to make it to the deadline. I was handling the... Uh, the model, let me show you guys. It's handling the model, and I was about to put it down like this when right here my hand slipped and I dropped the model. So, as a result, landing gear is gone now. Okay, it broke. Let me see if. Uh, if I can get the oh, hold on just one second. All right, here we go. Shoot, there you go. Landing gear is gone. It's amazing, along with some uh, panel doors. 
Okay, this panel door here. Um, this got, got bent. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off. This got bent. Um, uh, air brake is gone along with the actuator on the other air brake. So what does that mean? That means we're gonna have to fix it, okay? And that also means that we might not make the deadline. But uh, at this point, I just want to fix this thing. Um, it shouldn't take me too long to fix, but uh, it's just frustrating, you know? Uh, it definitely is going to change the alignment um, here and there and stuff, but you know what, man? I, I just want to finish it. So I'm going to concentrate on that, concentrate on fixing the issue right now, which is, uh, which is the landing gear, pretty much, it got bent, okay, let me see, right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. all right, it got bent, and it also got broken, so I got to fix this it's probably going to take me a couple hours to do um, before I can continue on with with the weathering I was applying a wash on it and uh, it's just it's, it's frustrating I'm not the only one who's done that but um, gosh I never thought it would happen to me um, so yeah guys let me let me fix that and uh, I'll come back when it's all done. All right. Hello guys. Uh, well, it's done. Um, I was able to salvage some of the parts that broke, and um, I had to actually scratch build uh, the actuators for the air brakes because they fell somewhere. I don't know where they are, but I just used a stretch sprue and and did them that way. Um, do I recommend this kit? Hobby Boss did a decent job with this kit. Uh, I do recommend it. Okay, it's just spend some time on dry feeding the, 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 the parts. With me, I think the, the, the kit fought me a lot due to the uh, Ares uh, cockpit set that I used. But I think out of the box, you're just fine, okay? If you wanna spend time and money uh, on aftermarket by all means, but I think you could get away with just out of the box um, It was a pleasure being part of this group bill. I think the the Most fun group it that I've been so far Just seeing people from all around the world on Facebook uh, being part of the group build uh, there were some crazy guys that had uh, multiple entries. Rob from Basic Modeling had, I believe, and I don't know if I'm wrong, but he had more than 20 entries. I mean, it was just crazy to see that guy just whip him like crazy. Uh, but it was so much fun. So thank you, Ian, if you're watching. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the camera closer and I'm gonna talk about the different techniques that I used and show you guys the, the model a little better, okay? And then after that, I took a little, um, you know, some pictures and I'll end with the slideshow. But thank you guys very much for, for all the support and I hope you guys like the model. Thank you. All right, guys, so here she is. And what can I say? This build has been a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> I wanted to quit. I wanted to, uh, you know, just start all over uh, with another build and stuff. And but overall, I had fun, and I think that is the main purpose of having a hobby: is that you have fun. Okay, if you stop having fun, then just walk away take a little break and or start something else and yeah that's that's how you get your mojo back 
All right, so let's talk about what I did. Okay, first of all, I used the uh, Vallejo Metal Color Range. You guys can see here. Very, very good paints. I was very impressed with these paints. They are easy to handle. The, the only thing that I find challenging with these paints is the airbrushing. You gotta find that right pressure um, with these paints. You get too close, you get running runs. If you get too far, you get this texture. And it was a lot of practice, uh, but I highly recommend it, especially if you're looking for paint, a metal paint that is not smelly, you know, and and that it's easy to handle. Um, I was worried about taping it and, you know, having it come off. I didn't have any problems with it. Uh, the, the the weather here in California has been great. I don't know if that had something to do with it, but I have no problems with this paints. It was just a little tricky to uh, airbrush, but once you get the hang of it, they work really, really well. Um, after that, I used a technique that I've seen a lot of modelers, and I've learned from a guy named um, Cyrus Tan here in California. He's the one that told me about it um, he's done some incredible work uh, you know and I asked him how did you get the panel lines to look like that he uses the smoke to me a smoke technique what it is is 70% thinner to 30% paint and you hit the panel lines it gives it that dirt dirty look it gives it like a shadow kind of look and and with the wash it just pops okay now I didn't want my my build to look like a checkerboard so I just did it like I don't know if you guys could see that on the video but you guys could see I just did it in some sections of the the build I didn't want to do it on every little um, section of the plane and it turned out okay it is a real really cool technique to do um, dirt kind of uh, um, you know s simulation on any type of models it doesn't just it's not only for aircraft it works especially for for armor it works really good okay then after that I use the set uh, from MIG the number 10 the metallic set gray gray set it comes with three washes I use the deep, gr uh, deep gray for the um, the top, uh, I used the deep brown for the top as well, and for the bottom I used the blue back, blue black, I'm sorry, blue black, and I used it for the wheel wells, now let me, I get so nervous about picking this up, <laughs> but uh, here's, here's the model, you guys could see, I just threw the wash in the wheel wells and I didn't even clean them up, I just, just did it like that, I didn't care um, and <laughs> they, they they gave me that dirty look that I was looking for the um, the washes work really good if you guys could see that I don't know if you guys could see there we go um, the actuators those are the ones that I dropped I don't know where they went so I just used a little bit of a stretch sprue and put them like that uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? That's basically it, guys. I just, uh, I wish I had more time to experiment with this set. Um, but I highly recommend this set. I mean, especially if you're just the type of modeler who just wants the product, that it's already ready to go, and it's going to give you great results. These sets are great. I, I own a couple of them. I have another one right here that I use that I'm using for the uh, Hellcat really really nice uh, sets and that's it guys I I gotta admit okay I rush this when it came to the weathering not the construction but the weathering I rushed it uh, because I was trying to make the deadline today is the 30th uh, which is the last day of the group build um, but I wanted to make the deadline. My my IPMS club has 
these contests all the time and I'm always missing out on the on the deadlines so I was really glad that I made the deadlines guys so I highly recommend this kit you could get away with it out of the box like I said and and just remember to have fun guys that's what it's all about I hope you guys like it let me know I'm gonna leave you with a couple of pictures at the end and thank you guys very much for watching my channel I truly appreciate it I wish I had more time to give you more videos and more builds but you know I'm, I'm back in the game so to speak and I hope you guys enjoy this build as much as I did so like always my name is Lewis and I'll catch you guys on my next video